Hey, happy Monday everyone, although probably by the time you watch this it won't be a Monday. Not to worry, it's a happy Monday for me. This is section 1.12, but what am I doing back in 1.4? The inequality signs, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to. We looked at these situations with one variable earlier on. And I just wanted to remind everyone that, you know, when it was greater than, it was an open circle and greater than or equal to was a closed circle to show that the point was included. Similarly for less than and less than or equal to, again, we were using closed circles to indicate the point is included and open circles to indicate that the point was excluded. What does this have to do with what we're looking at now? Well, we're looking at half planes. Now, this is the solution to a linear inequation with two variables. And examples there, like y is greater than or equal to mx plus c, y is greater than, y is less than or equal to, and y is less than. What are the important things? This time, rather than a shaded circle and an open circle, a solid line indicates that the points on the line are included in the region, and a broken line indicates that they are not. And you can see some fine examples there of greater than or equal to, so it's got a solid line. When it's strictly greater than, it has a broken line. Now the procedure for sketching these is quite simple. The first thing you do is you just sketch it as if it was an equation, and then obviously select the broken line or solid line, depending on which inequation symbol you, you have in that question. And then to ensure you shade the correct side, you just test a point to see whether or not it lies in the correct region or the region that we do not want. And generally it's easiest, as you can see in the example here, to test the origin, 0, 0. That's the fastest way to see if you have the correct point. Sometimes we'll sketch two inequations together and the region that they intersect, that would be the, where they intersect. That's the region that satisfies both equations simultaneously and any of the points within that region would be the correct ones. So from here we're going to have a look at an example, make sure we know what we're doing, and then I'll leave you to go and have some fun. So you can see down here we've got to sketch the equation y is greater than or equal to 2 minus 4x. So exactly how do we go about sketching that? Well this is in gradient intercept form, so that's going to make it pretty easy to sketch. Here I've got my set of axes all ready to go. Get those arrows indicating that they go on forever. Label my axes, y and x. Mark the origin and I'm all set to go. So the y-intercept of this one is 2. So quite easily I go up 2 and I can mark in that point. 1, 2. They should be in blue and I'll do my line in red just to make it interesting for you. So we've got those points done. Now, how do I find another point? Because remember, to define any straight line, we just need two points. Well, the other point, it's got a gradient of negative 4, so let's use that. I'm going to travel down 4, negative 1, negative 2, and then to the right, 1. So the other point I'm going to need there is 1, negative 2. Once you've got those points in, what's next on our list of jobs to do? Join them up with a straight line. So I'm going to try and be fancy here and see that looks reasonably good. Let's go with that. Make sure of course that you label your line rather than equal to 2 minus 4x. Now the question is what side of the line do I shade? You can see I've got a solid line because it was a greater than or equal to 1. What's the last thing I need to do? Test a point. Let's test 0, 0. This gives me 0 is greater than or equal to 2 minus 4 times 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 2 is not correct. Therefore, 0, 0 is not part of the region, part of the required region or the solution. So if it's not part of the required region, then we simply 
indicate the other region that is required by shading. And the convention is to shade the region you're looking for, but it's always good to make a note. So shaded area indicates the required region. It's that easy. There's nothing particularly complicated about it. You've all been graphing lines throughout this section, so this should be pretty easy. Have some fun. Cheers.